Hey, reflection time. Yeah, Joe's going to give the narrative today. No sleep, Dodd helping out a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's go. In uh, African safaris, there are times when the guide has to stop and take a break, you know, and give the elephants a rest, you know. I know that. And he gets a hammer and he towns a stake into the ground about a foot deep. And uh, he ties each elephant to the stake. Okay. Well, I got a question for you. What? You ever wonder why a strong elephant doesn't take that stake and tear it out and run away? <laughs> uh, well, maybe they're farsighted and uh, need an eye exam. <laughs> no, 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 no. In truth, uh, each strong elephant has the strength to tear out the stake and hold it, but it does not know that. Hmm, why not? Well, you see, when an elephant is a baby, it's tied to a stake, and uh, it tolls and tolls and tolls against the stake, trying to toll it out, but it doesn't have the strength as a baby to toll it out, so it stops trying, you know. Well, since an elephant never forgets, what does that mean? That means when he gets to be a grown elephant, he knows he can't pull out the stake out of the ground, so he doesn't try it. Today in public school indoctrination with critical Marxist theory, students are taught that they are held down just like the elephants with a stake. It's called victimhood. Don't fall for it. Justice is found in the biblical worldview. Become a victor in Christ, not a victim. <laughs> Second Corinthians 5, 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, yep, yep, that's what it says, he's a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. <laughs> Think about that.